it is. What's up? Main Trafford episode 67. Yes, sir. Then we flopped it. Then we but flopped I had it. it mate. What is it? Colin said what it is. I said what's up. He was finished alive. <laughs> That's good. Hello? Made in Trafford. Made in Trafford episode what? 67? 67. Mm. The last episode of the year. <laughs> and what a year it's been. Boy. Mm. Roller coaster, yeah, boy. But we have. That's a fact. Hey, look at us. No, nah, this is. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this year was in backflips, man. Boy. Really trying to put us in a twist. Let's, 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 start, let's start positive, though, because. The podcast itself, let's talk about our year, because it's been, honestly, it's been our best year, by oh, far. Right, right. So, I just want to reflect on you guys, you know. 110% effort given this year for, for real. It's been a good year for us. What's been one of your favourite moments? Of the, on the pod or of this year? Of the pod. Let's start with the pod. Ooh. That's a good question. I think a highlight for me um, still continues to be finding out Nikki was still watching um, Empire. And everyone's reaction in the room was the same. That's the best promo clip we've had, to be honest. <laughs> oh gosh, that was, that was elite. That was elite entertainment. Um, Funny girl, or how could I forget? Um, it's pod related, but both Billy's moments, man. Honestly, uh, that girl is different with uh, spray on jeans and then biopic. I was <laughs> that girl is different, man. The that biopic one might be worse, honestly. The biopic one might be worse. Shout out to me. Spray on jeans is pretty bad, though. Yeah, 100%. You, you know what? I'm gonna give her spray on jeans, easy mistake to make, but biopic. Oh my gosh. Yeah, man, what, what, what about yours? What would you say yours is? Uh, probably my favourite episode was um, the ones with uh, Michael and Toby Tariva. Uh, mm. That was it's funny to say that that's in the beginning of the year, but mm. that was that was definitely a great moment. Um, banter, banter with the Black Girls Pod, um, Black Girls Living Sorry, um, shout out to them. Um, what else? Uh, shut up, mate. There's been so many good moments. Just busting yeah, jokes, and energies. Mm. Mm. There, but I think those are, those are the ones that definitely stand out coming at the moment. Mm. Yeah. I think one for me was probably the Enterprise one because I feel like that was probably one of the moments where we were just like, yo, this is... This felt serious. For, not serious, but it felt like we do this thing. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Like it felt like one of them moments for for me. Yeah, anyway. and it felt that was a real moment. Yeah, I have somewhat, you know, shout out to everyone um, who's involved in the show. But obviously, uh, Kyrie is a legit. That's a legit talent there, you know. And that's someone shocked when we got him on. But I guess do you know what that did. It gave us confidence to be able to ask legit people who are doing big things to come on. Like we're not afraid of anyone. I think that was a moment for us. Um, you know, you look at, we've got Tolly on first year out. That, that don't happen normally, or it shouldn't really happen. You look at um, when we was able to, we spoke with Tom um, and the cast of, um, I was going to ask the name. Famalam. That was fantastic. Um, there's some real characters, man. Carmen, that shouts out to her. That some real people on that we've had and even just like last week one of my favorite guests amy was just so so lovely and what she's done has been fantastic thus far she'd be really proud of herself but also gave good conversation yeah yeah definitely because it's always worrying like when you ask someone to come on but you don't know how the episode might pan out but we've had mm. some good guests man some really underrated episodes as well like i like the jlol one as well he's a good, yeah. good dude I He's like good dude. Sebi one as well in his own business. We've had we've had a good range of people come on and, mm. and share their stories with us. So I'm 
Scully's even a personal oh, favorite, actually. Scully, man, we gotta get him back on, bro. Honestly, I listen. <laughs> I thought that was actually a really good moment. You're gonna be all right. You tough, right? <laughs> tough, right? No, nah, he, he's he's a funny he's a funny uh, brother. So no, nah, definitely some real some really good people this year, man. And I guess I think you know I think we just have to continue in that vein and just keep putting out um it's content really. I think what we've done this year is we've got the product right, like it's polished if that makes sense and mm-hmm. it's very presentable. So now it's just about pushing that product. But I think where it's good, it will push itself. And as my mum says. We're just looking for that golden buzzer moment. I don't know who the guest might be or the moment that something goes particularly viral. But and we've had some really fortunate moments already, like Ikran, shouts out to the BTS Army. Pulling up. They re- yeah, they really pulled up, man. So, yeah, we're just looking for, I think now we're just looking for that one moment, you know, or that one guest where it's like, yeah, we're serious. I would like that guest to be a full quadrant person as well in the sense that, Everyone knows who they are. It's not just our uh, shouts out. To, obviously, we're black and we're proud of that, but it's not just they're big amongst black people. Like everyone knows who they are. I think that's the for me. That I, would I, be, I think is. I think thing. it's just. Sorry, man. Go on. No, I can't, no, Carly. My point was done. Yeah, I, I, I think it's like um just consistency. Of what we've had this this mm. entire year, and not failing to be consistent. Um, every week it was turned up. Yeah, every week, Unless. every week we've come through. We've done an episode every single week. Um, things have definitely changed in terms of our situations, circumstances, whatever. But we're still here. We're still podding, and um, we're no longer made also, in Chapman, you know. At this point, technically, and technically speaking, we're not. We're not anymore. <laughs> but um, <laughs> one could argue um, where we ever made this. That's even a better point. <laughs> even a better exactly, point. exactly. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, we we've definitely we definitely thrived in a better way, and I think there's more to come next year. Rather than just one guest, I mean, there's definitely a few guests that can definitely come through, and we can have yeah. interesting conversations. Um, the pick their brain, but also done. more importantly, like be inspired to do other things. You know. Uh, be mm-hmm. inspired and also uh, inspire other individuals who do listen to the pod and thank you very right. much for the listeners who have definitely been with us since the very beginning and since mm-hmm. the rebrand as well that's a fair mm-hmm. point to highlight shout out to the listeners definitely. we appreciate you lot all the love you've shown us this year has been amazing so just, yeah it has been it's very telling and just we're going in the right direction man that's all I can say you know we're doing we're, we're I think this year we've worked hard I think what's the saying we work smarter, not necessarily, I guess, also harder, but we've made some really smart decisions. Um, we've done clever things. I think we look back into the first lockdown when we did um, The Clash, uh, we did the talent show, and recently we did the quiz. Like, these things have worked for us in our favour, and it's mm-hmm. enabled us to bring a lot of great people lo- along for the ride as well. Um, so that, that's, you can't put a price on that, really. Yeah, absolutely. Just a pat on our back, lads. We we deserve we deserve our flowers, man. Flowers, B, yeah, as you man would say, flowers. It's been a strange year, but we've been down flowers. Year. We haven't really been able to properly celebrate our Ws, but I think that's something we also need to try and do next year as well, and just try and you know celebrate them Ws when they come around because you know. It, they do they do be coming around and we just kind of brush it off and like yo that was dope but I can't believe we was able to pull that off but sometimes you do need to really give yourselves a pat on the back yeah absolutely we'll, we'll get around to it 2021 mm. um, next topic was just going to be about 2020 in general just like the top moments besides the pod if there's any <laughs> I mean I think it's been an intriguing I'm intriguing on the right word it's been an interesting year which will go down in human history for sure. I don't know how like I'm really intrigued to look at to see how people look at this year in thirty years time and just be like, yo, wh- that was an anomaly, like what the fuck happened there? You know? How same way people look at the year when um America had the crash, uh but this is like in the nineteen twenties, everything came to just capitulated. I think that's the same way they'll look at 2020. You've got moments like, but then there's just even moments like, you know, RIP Kobe and Chadwick, deaths that 
didn't see coming. Like, how could you, like to think Kobe would die in a helicopter crash? That's something you'd have to make up. It doesn't even sound real. Yeah, that one. Yeah, those deaths were just pop smoke. Why? I even be forgetting that pop smoke died this year, and it's only because his music is all over the radio. Like that boy made an incredible album, and he's re- that he is the mainstream. Um, but never got to experience it, never got to take it in. You know, R.I.P. to Pop Smoke. Um, God, yeah, there's, there's, been, there's been some moments this year for sure. Obviously, COVID goes without saying. That's the biggest moment of the That's the, been the biggest moment of the year, is, man. It's that is the year, really, isn't it? Fucked up everything. Well, I say fucked up, but just changed everything, man. Things were, we, mm. were normality is no lo- longer normality, and things when everything eventually goes back to normal, won't be normal. So it's just, it's yeah, going to be, sure. it's going to be a myth. I've, it's been a crazy year, man. It's been a really crazy year. Yeah. Really I don't even cool. know what, I was even thinking the other day, like, will it be weird when we can go back to normal? Like, you know, I say when we can go back out, out, you know, that would be strange. People are going to be off a, off a bean, I'll tell you that much. Listen. I already said that. Um, that first week when like we're really allowed out, I'm taking the whole week off. I'm a deal mother. Every restaurant, every club, seeing me, bars. Bro, I'm stuck in peas. <laughs> He's doing that right now. It's Shit. Just, for real, there's nowhere to go. It's just one week. I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying that week. Let me outside, man. <laughs> <laughs> Man's dying for it. Uh, but personally, what what has changed? You're dying for, you guys? for it. You're asking <laughs> for it. <laughs> Get off my back. Get my back. <laughs> what, but personally, what what has changed for you guys in your personal life this year, if anything? I know certain man says are a homeowners in that in the building. Yo, Come on. It's a W. It's a W mm, 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 <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Um. Yeah. What has changed my personal life? Nothing, but I've not invited nobody to the yard. Nothing. I've done nothing at all. Um, I've done nothing at all. Really, what I'm trying to do is just get used to the fact that I'm on my ones, mm-hmm. like literally on my ones. And then from there, build. And then mm-hmm. when it's time, it's time. But, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean I ain't talking. It just means I'm just not with anybody anymore. Yeah, mm. I think same for me. Really, you know, I made the decision to move out this year, um, which is a good one, man. Because oh, listen, love my family; they know that. But I just think, yeah, it was. I think Paul, you had the same. We've said this out. We've had the similar idea in the sense that um, that it's just for our mental health, not even our mental health, but like just the change of scenery was good. To be able to be on your own and be able to. Uh, do the things you want to do just a break like it was so needed yeah because I, I probably wouldn't have if it wasn't for COVID which is funny, funny enough but I just mm. I don't know man like I feel like a lot of people are actually in the same boat as well I've seen people on the internet share the same sentiment that you know it's nice to just have your own space and the the absence yeah. of going to the office and you know having that commute and all that time you feel like oh, it's time wasted is actually time that's gained just to be independent. So you take mm-hmm. that away and you're at home 24-7, it create, there's a big imbalance there, which people didn't realise before. And mm. yeah, I, I made the same decision as you and I don't regret it because it was it was just better for my, my betterment. You know, I fully agree mm. with you there, for sure. Yeah, I think, yeah, it is the right decision. Um, just yeah, I guess that was probably the biggest decision I took this year. Um, and again, no regrets. I hope to actually be able to enjoy London properly next year because it is again, it's it's still an amazing city with a lot to offer. So I do hope to. It's not even about just wanting to be outside, but there's so many great things you can do and really enjoy yourself. So I hope next year, on top of the independence that I've gained, I hope to be able to actually enjoy the city. Yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Um, okay, next topic. Um, 
let's wrap up a couple of um you know the key media stuff we like music mm. tv albums but let's go with albums i want to know you guys top five albums of the year if you have a top five. Oh, i don't know how many top five that is a good or question. just the ones that you like the most and it doesn't have to be specifically five from a king to a god conway the machine mm, mm, mm. Um, boo, boo, boo. i can't i can't really put i can't really put him in, in uh, i can't put them in a particular order um but yeah i'll definitely say that's one of them freddie gibbs um with the alchemist that was a good album thanks again what released at the top of the year um Shoot for the stars, aim for the moon. Yeah, definitely. That's that's my album of the year. Uh, another album I've been listening to on a regular, a regular. Um, I'm after Chuck Edmund. J Hoss. J Hoss. Conspiracy. Was that? Yeah. Was that this January. year? Yeah. January. Jeez. Oh my god, it has been long. Yeah, boy. Um, I actually thought that was 2019. Frisco's album. Frisco's album is an honourable mention, but I can't. I can't put an. I can't put a fifth album because mm-hmm. I know Frisco's album is not like the best, but that's an honourable mention. So that's like four top four albums. The fifth one, I'll come up with the fifth one in a second. Um, yeah, I, think, um, I, I can't necessarily give you five, but Street for the Stars, Aim for the Moon is probably my favourite album this year. Um, or even no, now that you reminded me that um, Big Conspiracy came out this year I might have to give it to that as well I mean that's in the conversation definitely a good album I've listened to um, you know some standout people Jack Harlow was a really good find this year for me um, who else did I say um, yeah no those those Edna was an impressive album um, I like what Hedy did there and you know um, I think it was a real tour de force, went number one as well. Those are the sort of W's you want to see people taking. Um, I know Hedy's had a long road to this moment, so definitely. Um, but yeah, no, it's been an interesting year for music because people haven't really been able to drop. Um, even that the impact after hours had, but people weren't really allowed outside. So you couldn't really take an album in like that, an album like that in properly. But it was such a good album. It was cracking that album. A lot of people, a lot of people, suffered from that not being able to be, able to be out. Mm. Their music definitely suffered. Um, 100%. But yeah, mentioned it after hours. That's on. That's on mine. Um, Alfredo as well, of course. Freddie Gibbs and Alchemist. Big Conspiracy as well, of course. Uh, DNA by um, M Hundro and Nave Smalls. I've just been rinsing that man. I've mm. been rinsing that. I think it needed a bit more recognition. recognition yeah i really really enjoyed that project um and i think that's really it for me i only have, have like a top four that i know like certified like albums i've just had that i've not left my playlist there's a couple mm-hmm. on Raymond, like savage mode 2 i really enjoyed nox's album or project uh london class was really enjoyable but those top four was was solid for me. Hunter, Lini, the first came out this year, innit? Yeah, and I enjoyed that as well. That was really good. Um, I'm going to try to go toe to toe with Jay Huff. I don't know what he was thinking. I thought he was, I thought he was bargain, but then on reflection, it was actually pretty good. So I wasn't even mad at him doing that because his, mm. his 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 artistry has progressed in my eyes. Definitely. I think he's got. I think he's gotten better because his his style can be seen as quite w- one tone, but. I feel mm. like he's shown he's actually a bit more versatile, versatile than what people think. Give credit for. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Ah, you know what is is the fifth one? Um, Ambush. Ask my brother. That one. It's top. It's, it's top tier. Okay. Mm. Top tier album right there. Mm. That's, that's, that's the Ambush Buzzworld. Buzz. <laughs> Boswell. Jay Electronica come though. out this year as well. Did it come out this year or last the year? Written testimony yeah. was this year. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what, well for me, that's an honorable mention. It's I wouldn't say it's top ten, but it's definitely an honorable mention. Oh, put a paper honorable mention as well. 
for sure. Definitely. Training day yeah, three, yeah. for sure, for sure, for sure. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. That definitely needs an honorable mention. Yeah, man, it's been it's been a good year. I've struggled to find new artists again. I know I say this every year, but I think this year, more than anything, I have genuinely struggled to find new artists. I don't, I don't think anyone well. came. It, it wasn't a time I would hate to have, like, be a new artist this year. Yeah, yeah. it's just too but hard, like, man. I, I was even thinking, like, every year I do this thing in my own, in my head, and I think, you know, this year, this is the artist I found. And it was really tough this year. I think I just have to give it to Jack Harlow, for, purely out of his album was good, and he's put out some good singles. Um, so I think I'd have to give it to him. He would be the find for this year, but boy, it was tricky. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. And if his album hadn't come out this year, I don't think I'd have been able to give it to him. So, you know, it, I'm intrigued to see what happens next year in terms of music. Hopefully people can go touring again and we can have concerts and uh, festivals. But it has been a strange year for sure. I was going to ask for movies, but again, there's, no, there's not been any movies this year. Yeah, so. not really. I'm even racking my, like, rack my brain. I couldn't think of anything. How really. about how about TV shows? Because I know we watch TV a, a fair bit. Last Dance. Oh, bro, I might even have top. to rewatch really watch that. You know, Chef Kiss. Chef that's Kiss. top. That's that's top top star. That was perfect this year, man. I love now it. it was. You know what? Like MJ just came in perfect timing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that was around the Easter holiday, so I thought they probably wanted to release everything at the same time. Mm-hmm. The fact that everybody's at home. Nobody's like working. They just like drop. People it. really took that in. Like that was a fantastic documentary from start to finish. And you could really see the characters and how it all came together. Like teams like that or moments like that, they happen very rarely. And you can see why it's just it's the reason the Bulls haven't um, gone back to where they were. Literally after the, that team was dismantled. It all fell apart. They thought they had that. They thought they had Dirt Rose, but you know, it didn't actually mm, come to fruition in that. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's definitely one of the top moments of the year. I'm glad you mentioned that, you man. That that documentary, mm. boy, I've never been. I've never enjoyed a documentary so much like that. So invested as well, like, it, and it really highlighted how people work and why they are the way they are. You know, you look at um, characters like Pippin and um, fucking Rodman. Rodman, yeah, like how they actually came to be who they are was so intriguing. That and Rodman's a real G. That like that's that's a that's a real. You no, know, he's on job. I respect him. Hundred percent. My mum went to WCW and then came back <laughs> for a game. <laughs> I said, "Yo, this guy's different." I, what I what a life! Him. What a life! When he was in Vegas with um, Carmen Electra. Carmen Electra. And my man came back and <laughs> Jordan had to go get him. I, I was like, yo, he's doing his thing, man. My Living guy's his... got Carmen Electra to kiss the trophy. I said, that's king shit. Living his best life. Mm. He is, Living man. dream, man. He'll talk. He definitely, then... lived, he definitely lived a wild one. A wild one. But then that also, like the last dance, uh, Netflix, they tried to do other documentaries as well. But there, there, was, there was one about Vince Carter. There was one about Sean the Mulberry. Those two are very interesting as well because you actually delve into the actual mentality of the athlete themselves. And like that's the basketball I kind of grew up on. Um, mm. I kind of fell out of touch with basketball mainly because, well, I don't, I don't have to get into the reason, but I just fell out of touch with basketball. So um, looking at those, it was just like, there was a reconnection back to basketball. Um, mm. I think that's, that's very amazing. It's very amazing that they came out when they came out, especially this year. Yeah, yeah absolutely. a lot of it has been just perfect timing, and that documentary was definitely perfect timing. Absolutely. I think the Mandalorian stands out because I was talking to you, Cole, previously, saying, "Yo, I think I'm gonna drop this because those first two episodes, dog shit." But um, after that, no, I was really impressed. I've been really impressed with the rest of the episodes since episode two. Um, but yeah, I think though not been a lot that stood out to me again, yeah. just because I think we were supposed to get things that would have stood out, but we've not been able to enjoy them. 
Yeah, Mando. Mm-hmm. Mando was really. I really enjoyed Mando. Like, I, I and I'm not. You know me. I'm not even the biggest Star Wars dude. I've watched them all. I think they're cool. I don't think. I. You know, I think they're slightly overrated, but I think they're cool to watch. Mm. But the Mando for me was like, yeah, I, I, I mess with this vibe because it's not yeah. too heavily invested, but also it gives the nerds the fan service that they want. Do you know what I'm saying? It, yeah, it does yeah. everything right for me. That's definitely been my favorite uh, TV show of the year. Also. The Boys was really good as well. Season two of The Boys. Jeez, I can't even Boy. forget. Yeah, The Boys <laughs> is elite TV. That, man, that show is... Yo. Iman, I don't know if you've watched it yet, but... <laughs> Bro. I said, I said to myself, this show is asking Game of Thrones to come outside. I don't, you know I don't even like to make that comparison because I just think what Game of Thrones did was just... It can never be done again. Whereas what, what The Boys is doing is... It's just doing something so different, but it's just so mm. it's so nice to see because we get the same thing over and over and over again. But the fact that they're just making these superheroes like literal bastards, it just it's so refreshing. <laughs> it's so refreshing. Uh, yeah, quality wise, the boys is one of the best shows I've ever seen. It's so good. It's just acting. Um yeah, no. It's, it's just the an, it's just the anti CW basically. It's the anti CW. Mm. <laughs> And someone has to do it because them man try to take our lives. When Flash was dancing in that one scene that I always use, I said, "Yo, I have to quit this show, man. This bondage must end." No, you, you know what it is? It's just when material itself it runs out. I mean, it's, it, it, it runs out. It runs out, and then they try mm. and do something where it's just like mm, what you can't you can't bang this this twenty three episode layout anymore. It don't work. It don't work. Yeah. I'm mean, don't care who you are, what how good your show is, it don't work no more, bro. <laughs> and then also no, like the clash between the um the clash between the cinematic version and then also the T V version. Yeah, that doesn't help. What are they gonna do? So then it's almost like mm, it's pointless. And then now that well, I mean if we're talking about films, something that is supposed to come out, is it this year or next year? Um the Zack Snyder car next year, I believe. Uh, he's trying. We'll see yeah. what we'll see what happens with that. I don't know. My mom said Batman says the F word. If I see him, I'm punching him. <laughs> it's on site. It might bang it's, though. It might bang. Uh, it might. He, he, I, I have every. Do you know what the biggest thing for Justice League was? It didn't make sense. So I don't know how much these improvements will help, but I. I'm gonna watch it, you know. The same four one hour one hour episodes. I'm here for it, no matter what. But him saying those comments already is is scary hours, man. For real, dog. For real. So he's known for fumbling the bag. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. He's also capable of good goodness. What Watchmen was pretty good. And yeah, yeah. Is good. He is talented. He's definitely talented. He's just very particular with what he does, isn't he? Mm. So yeah, and we we'll love man see. still. Like we made that very clear. Yeah, of course, he, of course. He definitely, after Justice, what they gave him, Batman versus Superman and Justice League. After BVS, they should have said, "Yo, no, I don't think we're gonna go with you to direct um, Justice League." And he still went with him after how bad Justice League was. Yeah, I mean, BVS was. We we'll have to wait and see, man. They seem to have some kind of plan. So, let's twenty twenty one is gonna be a big year for um for uh, DC. So we'll see how their plan yeah, yeah. unfolds. Um, and speaking of 2021... Well, what are they planning to do? They're planning to do um, Wonder Woman and Aquaman, isn't it? I don't think yeah, Aquaman comes out this year. Next year. Sure Wonder Woman really comes out this year. Day. Yeah, Wonder Woman comes out Christmas Day. Um, fucking... What's it called? Suicide Squad, I believe. They have shot Suicide that. Squad comes out next year. It's already been shot, yeah. So it's gonna be a make or break one, and then obviously after that, the Batman twenty twenty two baby. Let's go, Bat- Batman, Batman, Let's go. Yo, he's ready. Let's he's go. Ready. I expect it. <laughs> see the excitement on Eman's face. Yeah, yeah. Let's we'll go, Batson. Nah, that, that that Batman trailer is the best trailer I've ever seen in my life. I've really been that or the first Avengers, the first Infinity War trailer. I'm not mad at that. But that Batman trailer really got me hyped for that film. And I don't know how they managed to get that such good material with only 25% of the film 
being shot, but my God. Might make it easier. Really might, make, might make them just be able to cherry pick the moments that look good, you know, within that small mm. space, space of time. But I, I think it takes like might... three, probably three months to film the whole thing. And then when it comes to editing, that's what takes the time. Yeah. And voice. But I'm just surprised that if that they film 25%, like they had stuff ready to go already that looked good as well. That's what my surprise was. But now, shout out to them. They did a great job. And it looks like it's going to be a great film. What is, to wrap up, what are your predictions, lads, for 2021? What are your predictions? Olympics. You think it's going to happen? I don't think that's going ahead. Yeah. Especially how people are behaving in the summertime. I think it's definitely going to happen. Especially with the response to, we already had the conversation with COVID and I don't want to get too deep into that again, but I mean, in terms of how people have responded, I think the general populace has responded in a way where they can now make guidelines. You know, we've seen the uh, anti-Joshua fight versus uh, Cobra Pulev, mm. you know, where they had 1,000 fans in the actual venue. And yeah. that turned out all right. Um, thankfully, there was no spikes, so on and so forth. Um, yeah, I can't really complain. So basically, uh, so a, a that, response. Yeah. A, live events will event, eventually be phased back slowly but surely. Essentially, yeah. I, but I think one of the ways that they make money is with people there. So that's what I'm saying. So the, business is, saying the business model is the business model itself is kind of yeah. It'll be at a smaller capacity. I mean, yeah, yeah. it's just like any other situation, like a diamond. Um a diamond athletic sort of situation where they do it just before or just after the Olympics itself. Mm. So they can implement that sort of uh, measure where it's just smaller fans, um, the same sort of NBA bubble that they had for the NBA, which was very successful. It was, right. Um, you know, I mean, there's there's many things that, that can be implemented itself, but, you know, mm. I think the 2021 Olympics will happen. It's just... Um, who's ready for it, you know? Um, I, you, you, I, I don't know if you people have seen, what's his name? James Harden came out looking like, I don't know what happened to him, man. He had a gut. I've seen it. <laughs> he had more than a gut, man. <laughs> I can lose this gut, but you will never be 6'3". He I'll gave it up. That's all right. He, can still, <laughs> he gave up. He can still slap them freeze, man. That's all he needs to do. Bro. He can still slap them freeze, but he looks like he gave up. Up, mate. He didn't. <laughs> nah. So when it comes to these How athletes as well, like I, d- I didn't see the highlights. I just saw exactly what oh, I saw, okay. and it was just like it was disappointing. So yeah, yeah. I'm gonna you make really a, let it go, man. I'm gonna make a bold claim and say next summer is gonna be the best summer we've had in a long time. Bro, the, the, the music needs to slap to support it. I'm trying to get 2016 summer part two. There's gonna be two, slaps. Two. There's gonna be the Olympics. There's going to be the Euros, so people are going to be out there already. I think mm. I think it's going to be a I think it's going to be a mad thing. I think it's going give to give me be the vaccine. vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, hopefully with the vaccine coming in as well, yeah, I'm ready for next summer. People are going to be wilding. It's going to be messy because people feel like they lost a year of their lives already. So boy, mm. yeah, it's going to be a mad thing. So there's going to be some making up to do. Might have to catch me in the bath. Shit. Be out there with, with, salt, with salt bay in them. Oh god, he's going crazy. I need to try. How much? How much is it? Probably, I'm gonna try it. It's going to be expensive. Probably a couple. Because steak is like it can it can go either way. I can be really not nice. Or... Yeah, good steak is elite, man. Oi, mm. if you have the right steak, yeah, you're you're eating good. Best steak I ever had is at the Shard. Shouts out to them. That was. Yeah, it was perfect. Which one did you get, Oblix? I think so, yeah. It's on my birthday. Yeah, that year. one's cold. Like, that one's cold. They're doing their thing, man. Yeah, hopefully yeah, next man. summer is a mad thing. We need, we need, we need some positivity. Do you know what I'm saying? We need to be back out. I, know. I guess it's just something to look forward to. All the saving money stuff is nice, but at the end of the day, we need to go back out, man. I need to be, I need to be outside for a little bit. Hey, man, do you think there'll be a boom? Uh, Economy wise, in the sense when people are allowed back out, or do you think the damage is just too irreparable at the moment? 
uh, it was already irreparable in the beginning. There was, there was supposed to, well, there was a lot of indication that there was supposed to be a recession in 2020. And then now mm. that COVID has done its whatever. I mean, it's been declared that we are in a recession currently at the moment. Now, how we get out of it, I don't know. But people need to be creative. There's a lot of jobs that have been lost. Um, the government, the government cannot play around with figures because it's evident this is people's lives at stake. So, you mm. saying there's a boom, mate? That has to be a miracle. A boom usually happens years after. So, mm. and also you're you're talking about like everybody opening up, everybody starting businesses, everybody having to go back out and do what they did before and spend money. So. The great thing is with the lockdown situation, a lot of people have saved a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, if you're lucky enough, you know, maybe next year we'll see something happen. But I think money will go into certain places, not all places. It will not circulate mm-hmm. like it used to before. Mm-hmm. That's all I can say. But to say there's a boom, point. nah, it's, it's, that's way too optimistic. That's dreamland. Mm. So, just I think there's going to be a lot of things that we used to do that might just go away forever. Um, I can't think at the moment. I've, even stuff that we discussed earlier, like theatres might, you know, the things that we might have done before that either will change when we are allowed to go back. Um, so I don't actually, I think one thing I really liked is table service at um, restaurants um, and bars. I think that should stay, you know. So I think we can see a lot of industries change as well next year. Yeah, absolutely. The streaming services are only going to get bigger. The um, takeaway services will probably continue to grow. We'll st- you're going to see still see more delivery just to eat, like adverts every five seconds. So yeah, yeah, it'll be interesting. Keep the goodies thing on that advert, bro. Give credit where credit, credit is due. <laughs> and also all these um electric car companies are going to start to grow even more so than they have already with all the plans that they're going to potentially do and uh, I think the ULEZ is being officially expanded next year so it's going to be the tech world is going to be very interesting next year to say the least mm. but yeah man it's got to hope for a more prosperous year and you know happier better things hopefully for us as well as a podcast we've got to keep growing so yeah consistency is key Yes, mate. Well, honey. Yeah, man. But yeah, hopefully everybody has a have had a, a, a Merry Christmas and hopefully a safe New Year's. Mm. We'll see. You yeah, yeah, year, yeah. That's it? definitely important. Yeah, of course. Yeah, man. Uh, this is a pretty short, but it is what it is, man. Let me just say this: stay blessed. But stay blessed. That's cool, man. <laughs> that's what I can say, man. Couldn't say any better myself. Name of the episode. All that jambaz. All that jambaz, bro. Because all that currently at the moment, you can either soak and keep your head down or you can win, fam. And next year, you mm. might as well win. And the best way to do that is to plan now so you can win further and just get them W's up, film. Like, get them hey. W's up. W's so the w all the way up. Feel me. Because I'm seeing certain things happening in my life where it's just like, hmm, I could do that. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, just win, in it? Just win. Winning. Just Come win. on. All right, man. I well like put. That. Yeah, man. Like, comment, subscribe. All the, all the usuals. You know, all that good stuff. Tell, all a the friend jumpers. To t- tell a friend to tell a friend. We love it. You know what I'm tell saying? A tell a friend. We back. We all back. Right. Peace. Peace. Until ne- until next year, lads. Until twenty twenty one. Peace.